What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto and for today's video we're going to talk about how to cop the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Teal Blue. So this was just announced by Adidas for a release date of October 26th. The end of this month, the end of October, it'll be the last Yeezy we see in October. Like I said, it is the Teal Blue Yeezy Boost 700. So in my opinion, it's not the greatest looking 700, but it is another Yeezy nonetheless. A lot of people are going to want it, so I did want to make this video to talk about how to cop them and where to pick them up. So I have three distinct places that I'm going to let you know about for my opinion that'll be the best three spots to check out to cop the Teal Blue Yeezy 700. So if we get into that real quick, I do have the Adidas page pulled up here, so we're going to dive right in. You can see retail price of 300 bucks, a release date of October 26th at 10 a.m. And this is on adidas.com slash easy. So this is the first place of the three spots I'm going to tell you about on where to pick these up. It will be on adidas.com. So right now it looks like that Adidas is dropping the Teal Blue 700s at 10 a.m. on October 26th. So for number one, the first places you can buy them are adidas.com and also yeezysupply.com. So Yeezy Supply does not have the page updated yet, but they will and they're likely going to drop these shoes around the same time on October 26th. Should be around 10 a.m. or sometime in the morning. So for number one, the first place I would go to check is adidas.com and yeezysupply.com. They, you know, should be a simple spot to pick these up. I don't see a ton of demand for these. so. I imagine getting them at retail shouldn't be too bad, but it is still about a week or more for uh, until the release at this point, so it's kind of to be seen, but at least there's my first spot I would suggest to cop is Adidas and Yeezy Supply. So next up, my second spot to pick these up, the Teal Blue 700s, would be, if we check the store finder here, your large boutiques in your major cities across the US. So these are gonna be your Kith, Undefeated, Dover Street Market, social status, you know, the big names across the United States in your city. So if you're in a city or near a city or know somewhere you bought some online from, you know, all of these spots will be getting these. So if we check those out, you know, just scrolling through here, we see sneaker politics, blends, bodega, kith, concepts, like all the big names are on here. So I imagine if there's a big boutique like some of those stores that I mentioned in your area, they're likely to be on this store finder list, but you can check that full list out right now on adidas.com slash Yeezy to confirm that. So I would just check with your store, see ex how they're gonna do the release procedure and if they're gonna drop online. So that is my number two suggestion is to check out your local boutiques in your city as well as Adidas stores. You know, all of those Adidas stores are listed here too. So that would be the second category of stores that I would suggest to look at to pick up the teal blue Yeezy 700. And for number three, my final suggestion, which is a brand new suggestion for Yeezy 700s, this will be the first Adidas Yeezy 700 to hit foot stores. So Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs. If we check out this store finder, again, we could see it right here, Foot Action. If we scroll a little bit further down, we got a Foot Locker, we got a Champs, and there's several others if we scroll down the entire list. Adidas finally gave us the full list of all different types of stores getting a Yeezy and like I said this time it's a Yeezy 700 and this will be the first Yeezy 700 to hit foot stores like I said. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. A lot of 700s and 700 V2s recently have kind of sat on shelves or not completely sold out, dipped under retail even, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with these. I think they could be on a similar path just because honestly in my opinion they don't look the best, you know, and 700s are a little tired, you know, we got the 700 V2s out, so let me know your opinions in the comments down below. But if we recap real quick, number one, I would check out adidas.com and yeezysupply.com. Number two, if you're looking to buy in-store, you can check your large boutiques in all your major cities and Adidas stores near you. And number three, a new addition to Yeezy 700s, it's to check, to check out the foot stores. So on the map, the stores near me for foot stores, it looks like it's just some of the bigger foot lockers, foot actions, and champs in my area. So it's likely just gonna be the larger stores across the US. But like I said, check the store list and then probably within the next four or five days, um, each of those foot stores, you know, on their websites, they should update their launch locators. So like on Foot Locker, you'll be able to go to their launch locator and it should give the full map with enough time to go check out the store and see how they're releasing. They're probably gonna do the launch reservation app and not do first come first serve. So, you know, check on the app as well. 
but that should pretty much round out your best opportunities to pick up this shoe, the Yeezy Boost 700 Teal Blue. Like I said, it's probably not my favorite from the pictures, but I'm excited to see in-hand pictures. We'll see if I'm able to pick it up a little bit closer to the release date, but stay tuned for updated videos and more content like this. So like I said, let me know in the comments down below your opinion of the Teal Blue 700, and if you're gonna pick them up, or maybe not. But otherwise, that does wrap up the video for today. Like I said, I wanted to cover how to cop the Teal Blue Yeezy 700, and that's what we did here today. So thank you guys for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you guys on the next video.